Hello everyone, I'm Leo Ding, one of the founders of Red Cat Motion Studio. We produce creative stories with animation. With an online course, you can make similar shorts like this. Welcome to my motion graphic. I don't know why you think that you could help me when you couldn't get by by yourself. Open the calm main character. Here I will make the boat rise up and turn into a car. The tricky part is to turn the boat into the car. This layer will be the base of our motion, which means that we morph the boat hull into the car frame first, and then based on this layer, we animate the other parts. Here I will display whatever relating to the car as we see on the screen, but you can see that the car is too small compared to our boat, so I have to scale it up. This is car guide. This will serve as our reference. It is there to guide us, but we don't need to animate it. I will parent whatever related parts to the car guide. I will scale up the car guide to make the car body at the same size with the boat as it is now too small. After that, I will hide everything else, leaving only the car guide. Press T to lower its opacity so that we can compare easier and then lock it. We won't need to touch it, just erase on this guide. Next step is to time when the boat will turn. Go back to the main when the sea has just risen like this, right here, at this position. Now we can turn our boat. We can drag it up a frame. Go back to main character. Here I will select yellow boat outlines and I will rotate it. I press P and R. R. We display all of this property. Go to content, group 1. I will keyframe the path at this moment. Keyframe rotation and position here as well. Press U to compress it. Go up about 3 frames and our boat will rise up. It will rise to this position and then turn around and land. We we'll just keyframe first and readjust later on. First it will go up. I will make it go up higher a bit. Up over here. And then flips over. And finally, lands at the original position, right this point. When it lands, in order to make it more interesting, we land it lower, then bounce up a bit, and finally land at the original position. Move it up about 2 frames, move it up, and then land it down. Let's watch. Just like that. So when it lands here, it will be tilt a bit. I will create a keyframe here. At this point, I will rotate it to about 186 degree. Then tilt it back. About 176. And then return to 180 like this. We have basically got this motion. After that, we will need to adjust quite a lot at each keyframe. Here, the rotation, I will drag it back like this. Move it up, and then start rotating. And when landing, I will delete this keyframe. Move the second keyframe here. When it falls down, it will be compressed then bounce up and lands again. For the path, we go to this mark and right here, we will need to make the boat hull look like the car. Here I will have to add some more points on its path. I select the pen tool and choose the second icon which is the pen with a plus sign. We will add more points on our boat 
and after that we move it like this fit it with the car guide let's see to add more dynamics to the motion I will move the car a bit after 2 frames from the first keyframe move forward about 2 frames choose path and here I slightly move it like this I change its shape forward a few frames I will turn it into a square At the same time, I will size it down a bit. This is up to you. You just shape your motion until you are satisfied. What's important is that your motion must be smooth. Right here, at this point, I will also fix it a bit. Let's watch. We need to drag the last keyframe to here. You can see that our motion isn't very smooth yet, it's still too slow, so we have to move some keyframe up to make it faster. The boat will bounce like this. Okay, finally I'm satisfied with the boat hull turning into the car. Pretty tough, huh? Then we'll apply easy ease to it. I will ease the position first. Position it to fly up. So look at everything. Let's see. Okay, as for the rotation, I will only easy ease the first three keyframes. Only the first three. The reason is that for the remaining two, I will apply this code to make our motion more interesting. As you can see, there, it has this bounciness. But this still doesn't look alright. I will use this keyframe as well. Okay, much better. Let's watch. Don't forget to select all the position, right click, choose keyframe interpolation, and set to linear. Alright, better. So we have finished our primary motion which is morphing the boat hull turning to the car frame and all the remaining motions will be based on this. Do you notice that our boat is parented to a null? I have introduced this null to you in the previous part where we rock the boat and you can see that its keyframes are scattered like this. We no longer need these. At the moment when the boat morph, I will click the keyframe again. I will delete this last keyframe. And you can see that the two stripes of the boat are parented to the null. This I will reparent it to the boat hull and we are also morph these two so that they look like those of the car. Our car also has a stripe down here. Since the boat has two stripes, I will add another right here to make this more interesting. Okay, at the first one, the white boat to outlines, I will also display choose group 1, 
select the path I will also keyframe rotation only rotation because its position is parented to the boat's position even when it lands like this I will adjust so that its center is around here As for the white bolt one, it still contains two stripes so that we have to delete one. We have group 1, group 2, group 3. This one is group 3 so I delete group 1 and group 2. We do the same with the white bolt 2 outlines. I will also select its path, then keyframe its rotation and drag it a bit further. I will also move it down here Adjust its position a bit You also move it inside like this To the same position as the car's part like this As for rotation, I will perform a trick That is when it goes up, we will turn it like this After it lands, we will return it to the original position I will also copy the script to it Let's watch. Hmm, what's wrong? Control C, copy all, paste into here. Let's watch. The car frame flips a whole turn, so does this Y strike. Do the same with the other strike. Rotate it. And then we return to its original state, which is zero, and apply the script. The body doesn't look so good, so I adjust it a bit. After finishing the car frame, we won't need the car guy anymore. It is quite distracting, so I delete it. We'll need to make the car's backlight, protector, front light, door open, mirror, car seat, as well as the car controller appear. We have the dock appears later on, so we we'll drag these layers to the top. I'll need to make all of these appear. Here, I'll select the boat as well as the other parts such as wheels etc and let them appear at this mark I drag these layers a few frames in those who know design will do this very quickly they can take initiative to lay out the scene well. Those who don't know design tend to have difficulty in doing so. So my advice for those who want to become an animator is to learn about drawing and design. With this backlight, first I will trim everything to this mark. As for backlight, Protector or the others, I will make them appear in the same way, which is done using scale and rotation. I will set scale property to zero and I will rotate it like this. I will copy this script into the rotation property. Oops, I am mistakenly copied to the wheel. I will do the same to the backlight. The wheel, I won't use this property. If you get used to it, you get this done in no time. I will easily ease our scale property and move the keyframe up a bit to make the motion faster. I will copy all these properties 
for protector, front light, mirror, and door open. Since we have two door openers, so I control D this one and move it to the side. And we have a motion like this. I parent all of these to our boat, yellow boat outlines. I drag them to here. When it turns, the other parts also appear. Let's watch. Next, we will animate our wheels. For our wheels, we will need to parent them to the boat. I will set these to none instead. For the wheels, I will only use the scale property. Scale. Here, I will move this anchor point to the bottom. Click on the stopwatch and click on this chain link so that we can scale the X and Y axis separately. At the first keyframe, I will set the Y axis scale to zero. I will move forward a few frames and increase this Y axis scale. You see squash here and then it return to the original state like this. I will copy the content of this script into the scale. So you have a motion like this. I will do the same, copy this and reposition as we have similar wheels. Drag these wheels a few frames further so when the car lies down, it will be squashed and then stretched. Right at this moment, the wheels will pop up, like this. And you see that the wheel is quite blurry, so we have to turn on the saw. Actually, we should toggle the saw for all the car lights. Alright, you can see here. I will do the same to car seat. The car seat and car controller is behind the car, so we have to move them below. And remember to parent them to the boat. Then I will do as aforementioned. For the car seat, I will move its anchor point to the bottom. For car controller, I will move its anchor point close to the steering wheel. And I will copy the property of front light to other parts. I will also trim them back to here. And we have a motion like that. Move them back a bit. Doing so will create a sense of randomness for your motion. And remember to save. Next step is to draw the car roof. If you look back to the sample, our car has a roof like this. Previously I just deleted the car guide. We could have kept it to use as reference to draw the car roof. But anyway, there's no need to. We can draw it ourselves. Over here, I will draw the car body. I select Pen tool, still use the yellow fill. I draw the car body like this. Just click on it and draw. Delete whatever unnecessary points. Drawing the car body is quite easy. Hopefully, everybody can do this. After we are done, remember to bring it below. Arrange it uh, above the boat. Then we will make this car roof pop up. But before animating it, we have to draw its window. Just draw. It's not hard. This is just an assignment, so feel free to draw as you will. We have two windows like this, and I will drag them below, here. And similar to the city, in order to create a window, we also use a fine vertex. 
we have two windows like this. As you can see, the car controller is not at the correct position, so we move it here a bit. I will parent the window to the car body, and the car body will be parented to the boat. Here, right when the boat lands, this car body will emerge. Go to its path and uh, we'll move the keyframe up a bit. At the first keyframe, I move it close to the bottom like this. Just like that. I also easy ease it. And the windows will appear later, not right now. So uh, I go into each group, go to its transform and select scale. For each scale, don't forget to relocate the anchor point to the bottom of the window. Press U to collapse. Drag a few keyframes. The first one will be set to zero. I also copy this script. This script is really useful for every situation. It's also the quickest way to make bouncy motions. Remember to trim them. Drag them a few frames in. Arrange the keyframe so that uh, we have some randomness. If you see that it bounces too much, you can reduce its amplification. For example, here is 0 0.05, I set to 0 0.02. So we have finished the motion for the car. Now we only need characters. The characters will be easy. For the dog, I will display these layers and precomb them. Name it dog. Temporarily hide it. Now we animate our main character. For our character, first I will display the cap and move it correspondingly to the head of our character. I will scale it up, toggle the saw, side it up like this. In our sample, when this character falls down, he also switches his head. Then I will hide it and parent it to the head. Currently, the head is being parented to the null. Now I will reparent it to the body. And then our character will fly up. I will also parent his hand to the body. Alright, let's see. So when the boat bounces up, the character's body also goes up as well. For the body, I will press P. For the head, I will press R. Create a keyframe at this mark. Here I will let the body fly up. While in air, I will also rotate it. Rotate like this. I will rotate the head as well. This might be too fast for us to notice, but uh, it will make our motion more refined. And our character will stay in air for a while after being flown up. At this moment, only then does he fall down. Here I set the keyframe like this. It is until this moment that the cap appears. And the old head disappears. The head already disappears from about this frame. Here I will apply easy ease. There our character will fall down. Notice that our character in this car is smaller than when it is on the boat, so I will scale it down. 
For the body, I hold shift and press S to scale it. Just drag it a bit. I move this up one frame and right this frame, I size this down to about 65. Let's see if it's okay. Alright. And when it falls down, we certainly has to rotate it. Let's watch our sample again. Our character, after falling down, will stick his head out. So I have a little trick, which is rearranging the car body below the character. And when doing so, we also have to rearrange the car controller below as well, along with the car seat to the bottom. When the character falls down, I also copy this code and paste into its position. I will slightly add some rotation. And I will apply the code to the rotation as well. Remember to position his head. The head looks a bit weird now, so we have to move it like that. At the same time, apply the code. We use the code to make our motion more interesting. If you see our motion having too much bounciness, you can decrease the parameter. Don't forget to make the fishing pole disappear. Here I will make a small motion for the fishing rod. When it flies up, at this moment it is up in the air. I select two keyframe, delete this keyframe. And when it flies up, I will let this flies up as well. Drag it like this. Let's watch. Our character also has the tie, so I will also animate the tie as well. I will slightly move the tie, relocate its anchor point so that it rests at the top. This is so that when the tie falls down, it will swing a bit. Have I told you about the pendulum script? This script resembles the motion of a pendulum swinging from side to side, so uh, we will use this script. I press R and paste this script. Meanwhile, I will also parent it to the body. This is similar to the head. At this point, when the character falls down, it will appear. I will set resolution to third for faster preview. You can see that uh, it will swing like this. I will increase the velocity up to about 15. Amplification will be set to 100. So the tire will swing back and forth. If you see that is too much, then you could decrease the amplification. I will also readjust the body to about 3 degree. So it will swing like this. Okay. Next we will animate our dog, the last character. Go to the calm dog. Here you can see that the things that need to be animated such as the bell. With this dog I will turn on the saw. Always remember to turn on the saw. Same with the bell, I press Y, move the anchor point to here and copy the last script to this rotation. For the dog's head, I will move the anchor point to the bottom. When the dog barks, I will turn his head up like this and at the same time open his mouth. Very simple, I turn them to shape layer. And uh, after bringing it back to shape layer, I will reorder the dog's head to the bottom as it stays behind the collar. 
change to third or uh, half resolution for fast preview. As for rotation, at about here I will keyframe rotation. Here our dog will turn his head up and mark. We will hold the keyframe a few frames and then return to the original state. Here we have to keyframe a lot for our path. For example, the dog's mouth in the group 8. Here I also create a keyframe for the dog's ear. Just select the ear and you will know where it is. Alright. The ears are in group 5 and 6. I will keyframe the path as well. Like this. When the dog heads up at this point, I will bend its ear to the back. The same with the remaining ear. Both ears will bend backwards. In the middle, the ears will stay straight. Straight up like this. And I will drag this keyframe in a little. Okay, as for the dog's mouth, we have to create a few points at its open its mouth. First one in the bottom, two over here. So three points in total. At this moment, I will drag this point inside like this. Right here. The dog open its mouth. A few more moments, the dog will open its mouth wider. Looks pretty fun. Let's see. Since everything still moves slowly, so we drag the keyframe inside a bit. When the dog closes its mouth, we just copy those keyframes. Here I will select all, choose keyframe assistant in easy ease. In here I will select all the points and drag the graph inwards like this. If you can do this, then you have a motion like that. Here it is still too slow, so we have to drag the keyframe in a bit. Afterwards, I will copy all of these keyframes, all of them, Ctrl C and Ctrl V, to make it bark continuously. Go back to the main character comp. I reorder the dog to the bottom above the car seat and I will toggle on its saw. Remember to turn on the saw because our motions alter the original size of the objects so they may be blurry. Morph into the car right here and the dog will I press P. Lựa chọn phim B rồi sau đó thì ở đây thì nó sẽ À các bạn quên nhớ chỉnh cái điểm hình cho bòi của nó nhé. I move the anchor point down here. Slightly move it up. I also choose the rotation property to make the dog shake a bit. Just slightly. I also copy the rotation here as well. Here I adjust amplify to 0.2. And it will fall down like this. Quite slow, isn't it? So we drag the position in to make it faster. So we have just finished the motion for all of the car. Now let's return to the main composition. Let's preview. Oh, I forgot to delete the waves. The waves also rise up similarly to the sea. For the waves, I will press P. We just need to move it up. We don't have to anticipate. Move it up, and here I will keyframe assistant and easy ease. I will curve its graph like other motions. And then we have our characters land down like this. 
pretty interesting, right? We also have the text you think that. This text will be fairly easy, nothing complicated about it. Here I will only use rotation and scale to size it up and make it swing. I will also copy and paste this mouse code. After that, I will copy all the keyframes and apply to other words. For the text you think that, we will listen to the soundtrack to time it. Alright, we will make you think that appear right here. Everything is fast, so I drag this keyframe in a bit. After finishing, go back to the main comp. I copy this, you think that, press Ctrl D and here, go to the effects and preset, I will type fill. I will drag and drop on it. This fill, I will set our text to have a white color. Press OK. Let's see the motion. I'll turn off one. Since we have too many complex motions, my computer gets quite laggy. We have you think that starts to appear. Previously, I have said that when the sea level drops is also when this text turns into blue. We will just apply this simple trick of masking. I will rearrange these two you think that so that one lies on top and one lies behind the sea. The white one will stay on top of the sea. And as for the blue one, well, actually, they both stay on top. For the blue one, here I will copy the C ground and move it up on top of you think that and set it to alpha. No, alpha inverted. So when the C level falls down, the text will appear, but currently it is covered by the white text, so I will rearrange the white text to the bottom below this you think that. At the same time, I will trim it a bit like this. When the C level drops, only then does the text you think that appear, and we adjust the keyframe in a bit, like this. Don't forget to move the text you think that a bit further down, touching the ground. Currently, we are intersecting with the Y text, so we have to be more careful. Like this, okay. And the white text you think that will be trimmed here. We no longer need it. Like this. And our car should move a bit, right? Press P. When it lands here, it should start moving. Let it run. Okay. So I have finished instructing you on this assignment. Finally, we are able to morph a boat into a car. It only happens in just about 3 or 4 seconds, yet our workload is really heavy. As you can see, in order to become a good animator and to create great products, you have to be extremely meticulous in your work. Okay, this tutorial runs pretty long now, more than one hour, so I hope that you find this useful and succeed in this assignment. Later on, I will share you about how to do basic character animations, such as walking cycles. Good luck to you all!